Hey everyone and welcome to my little pottery mold adventure. My name is Amber and today's mold is going to make every mold lover smile so very big. I just know it. So let's get started. I have found none other than a mushroom mold. <laughs> And before you get too excited, let me just say that this is not one of the signature Alberta molds, as far as I can tell. It doesn't have that signature Alberta brand name on there. So I'm thinking that someone replicated one of the mushroom molds that are so very popular or created one that is almost identical. Um, so this one doesn't really have very much information about what it is. It just kind of says mushroom planter on there. And other than that, it's blank. But nonetheless, I was so excited to try my own hand at a mushroom mold because I know that they are much loved and they are just like a prized possession in the world of molds. Fun fact, last time I went on a mold hunt, the person had almost all of the Alberta's mushroom collection and me and my daughter Tessa were just in awe of all of these molds that he had and <laughs> the mushrooms were definitely his prized possession and um, he wouldn't even tell me how much they would cost to buy, which I wasn't asking <laughs> because right now I am simply just enjoying the creative process of creating with these molds. It's just, it's so much fun. Mushroom flower pot? Goodness. This is so cute. So you can see my little pore line around the edge right there because I didn't have enough. But look at this. Oh my gosh. My daughters are going to die over this. So they are at war with each other trying to decipher who is the mushroom person in the family and who is not. So of course I tell them they can both be the mushroom people, but you know, it's a constant battle. So I am planning to make two of these <laughs> and surprise them by serving them some soup for dinner in it. And they will both get to be mushroom people. <laughs> While I cleaned this little pot up, I was thinking about how I was gonna go about glazing it. And it was really tricky for me because I'm very much a color outside of the lines kind of person, go with the flow, spontaneous kind of maker. And things that are very specific, like mushrooms, you kind of have to paint them kind of perfectly to make them look like mushrooms and so i had to really think about how i could put my own personal touch on this because that's what i love doing the most so i ended up making four of these two are little quilt mushroom pots and two were for my daughters so it was really fun and it was challenging which kind of made it even more fun I 
I'm out here in the pottery shed painting my mushroom bowls and I just wanted to give an update on the squirrel. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go check out episode one where there's like a spooky vibe of a squirrel in our pottery shed. And let me just say, I still have yet to see it, which my kids have decided to name her Sheila. And again, we don't know if it's a squirrel or a chipmunk, but I'm leaning towards squirrel just because there's a lot of those in our yard. But she is up there making like a whole ruckus like while I'm doing this. I'm just trying to chill, listening to my podcast, painting, and you would think that there's a whole family in the wall of squirrels. <laughs> Maybe there is, but anyway, update on Sheila's squirrel. She's still there and she's still giving me ghosty vibes, but um, enough chatting about Sheila back to mushroom painting, but um, yeah, just in case you're invested. <laughs> honest, honestly don't. I should be the last to know we're all in this. I stand alone. Show me where the ending goes. Honest, honestly don't. I should be the last to know. Hello Ramona, I mistook you for a dream The engine glows, and I guess you always seem to know Hello Ramona, I pushed back the serious healing The end's unknown, to get back the life I used to know Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know We're all in this I stand alone Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know finally time to pull the little mushroom pots out of the kiln and it felt like a very long awaited for reward to see them all finished. So my two quilt pots were my favorite of the bunch. I think there's a lot of things that I'll change in the future when I make them the next time, but I do really like them. And the ones from my daughters are super whimsical and cute. So let me know which set is your favorite the quilt pots or my daughters. <laughs> Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. This was so much fun finally getting my chance to put my own touch on a mushroom pot. I can't wait to see if I find more of them on my mold hunts in the future. Bye!